Welcome to Bonifab Custom. A few weeks ago, we built this ribbon burner. Today, we're gonna to show you how to build the forge. So for this type of forge, we're gonna try and keep the cost down a little bit. Instead of using just refractory cement, like I've done in the past, we're gonna use these bricks, which are refractory bricks. They're a little less expensive and they're also replaceable. We're also gonna use a refractory blanket that's gonna cover the outside of these bricks. And then we're gonna encase it in some uh, sheet metal. Now, before we can do that, we have to determine the size of the sheet metal we need to make the outside box. So we need to measure up these bricks and we need to make a sketch with all those dimensions on it. So now we have our sketch done, we're going to cut up our sheet metal. The outside dimensions are, for the sides we need 14 by 18, those two pieces. The bottom plate is going to be 18 by 16. So we'll cut those pieces out, tack them together, do some welds on them, and then we're going to do a cross plate on the front and the back. We're going to put in our refractory and then we're gonna place our bricks inside and they're just gonna sit inside. They're not gonna be uh, cemented inside the box itself. After we do that, we're gonna, we're gonna enclose the top and the front. So make sure those bricks don't move. And then we're gonna put a little plate on the bottom that's gonna hold our refractory cement with our little template so that our tapers of our ribbon burner forge will fit nicely inside there. So let's get those sheared up and let's start placing those bricks inside.
So now that we've got a lid all welded up on top of here, we're going to ramp up the temperature for our refractory very slowly so we can get it to cure properly. And then we're gonna build a little stand for it so we can roll this thing around with some tubing. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So now that we have our forge all done, we have it painted, we have a stand that we made for it, we're going to let the refractory uh, dry out over a few days and then we're going to start ramping up the temperature by burning it in properly. Now that we had the forge cure over a few days with a little bit of heat, now we're going to try and ramp it up to forging temperatures. Now. I'm gonna show you what I use as a blower motor and it's very inexpensive. I use basically a vacuum cleaner, a small vacuum cleaner, and I reverse the vacuum and I use it on this forge. I use it on a couple other forges I have and I also use it on my, my um, aluminum smelting forge. And it's very simple and works really good and inexpensive. <laughs> Thanks again for watching Bonifat Custom. If you need any specifications on the forge, please message me in the comments below. Please subscribe and thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you.